Hi everyone, today we'll see how to customize the blue highlight you get in kickoff. First of all, let's copy the panel background SVG into a new file called view item. Then let's edit it with Inkscape. Let's remove the margin highlights, we don't need them anymore. I'll change the color as what is boring, let's go with red, ok? Then we have to add a hover prefix to all of the 9 elements so that it will be used when the component is hovered. Done that, let's remove the shadow and mask as we no longer need this. Let's also create a new element, but this time I will make it blue. Now we have to add the selected prefix so that it will be used when the component is selected. I will admit that I have no clue where this version is actually used in Plasma. Then let's make a new element, this time green. and give it a selected plus over prefix, which I'll guess it's used when you hover and press the element, I don't know, again. We can resize the page to fit the content so that it's a bit prettier. Let's switch to our Sonia theme and give a look to kick off. Ah, almost done. The border is tied. Let's create a new black rectangle and give it the ID hint stretch border as we've done in the panel. Let's again restart Sonia and we'll see that the new highlight is indeed working. It's uh, pretty. Uh. Now let's look into customizing the task manager. Let's create a new SVG called tasks. Let's open Inkscape and remove the other two elements. For the task manager, I'd like to use a radial gradient. So I'll select that one for each of the sides and set this exact gradient center and radius in all cases.
it will take a bit of time to get it exactly right. Sorry about that. Yeah, look nice. Now let's set the IDs. This highlight will be used for open apps, which require the normal prefix. So let's replace over with normal. We can try it out and yep, it's working. Let's create a new element. This one will be green and it will be used for when there's an ongoing task such as an update or a large download. We'll use the progress as a prefix because of that. Nice. Next one, this time it will be painted blue and it will be used for the active app, the one we are actually using. The prefix for this one is focus. Nice. If we restart the Sonia theme, we can see that the active app is indeed using the blue highlight. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Now, next element. I will go with the uh, Y for this one. The prefix is indeed minimized because we'll use it for minimized applications. Let's again restart the Sony theme to see if it worked and yeah, it worked. Last element, bright red. This is to be used for when an application requires your attention. The prefix is indeed attention. To see if this one works, I'll click on a link so that Firefox will require my attention. Yep, it's very clear. 
What an amazing taskbar we have here, huh? The last thing we'll do today is the indicator to use when an app is grouped. I'll do this weird shape and I'll make it blue. This one needs four copies depending on where the panel is. Bottom, right, left and top. The ID for this one is group expander left, group expander right and so on. Again, let's resize the document to fit the content and then restart the Sonia theme. We can see that a group Inkscape is indeed using our indicator. So that was all for today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing or even donating to support my work with KDE. I don't do just videos, I also write code and stuff, you know. Anyway, see you later, alligator.